my gosh, that mountain is on fire. I've never seen that before. Ever. We've got an emergency alert on our phones for an evacuation. Those little flickering lights underneath the fire are all the firefighters up there. Seeing the fire come closer and closer to the lights, I was in tears at a couple points in the night. And his glasses. Oh, he loves oh. to take glasses. I see my mom. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So we got our taste of Utah and we're excited to be heading back here when we get back from our trip home to Maine, but right now we can't even think about coming yeah. back. Now we have to make our way to California. I think it's eight and a half hours ish. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna split it up and do two drive days and uh, we're gonna go check into a campground tomorrow and start getting packed and getting cleaned up. We have to leave the rig for a month. So yeah. there's a lot of prep that needs to In happen. In the sun. So we got to do a bunch of stuff. Right. All right. Well, we're hitting the road. We're all hitched up and uh, let's Thanks, go. Bryce let's Canyon. Do it. You were too good. <laughs> <laughs> it's filming right now. south into Vegas. Wow. Awesome. Don't hit anything. Oh my goodness. It's snuggy. It's a cactus! Oh, they're actually really challenged. Oh my gosh. Okay. They like just don't like doing it, you know? They just don't like doing it. I had no idea that this drive was going to be anything like this. It looks like you're going to drive right into the cliffside. Good little truck, getting us up the mountain. This 
is what this road looks like. That's nuts. So that was a pretty gnarly ride up that uh, that pass with all that construction. Um, no no damage was done by running over that cone. No. We are up here at Idlewild Thousand Trails RV Resort. Yeah, I haven't heard too much beautiful. about this place. It is really nice. It's hilly. So we are up in the mountains for the week. We're going to get some work done. The girls are uh, going to get started with school. They're excited about the pool. They're and very they're excited. they're excited about the week countdown to flying out of San Diego back to Maine. A week from tomorrow. They're like counting down minutes at this point. <laughs> yeah, I actually think that's where we've gotten to. So I think we've mentioned it before, but we haven't been home in 18 months uh, back to Maine, so it should be fun. Our friends Travis and Aaron are close by here, our lively tribe, so we will be storing our RV in our truck there. Mm -hmm. We actually did the, uh, I don't know what to call it, down up method of leveling the <laughs> RV. The down up method. So we dug down on this side and then used blocks on the other side. And I wouldn't normally do this in a campground, but there were holes there There's already. Divots everywhere. So it works. We're level. If we're, we're level. gonna if you're gonna stay someplace for a week, you wanna be level. You don't wanna be feeling like you're like this. Yeah, the whole even time. though you wanna get off the road because you've been driving. Yeah. Do yourself and a favor. And there's people staring at you. Get it and level like, the first just time. Get it right. And enjoy the rest of your stay there. <laughs> Us. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. <laughs> it's all, all right. he does is wait for us. We're all good. Right. We're going to the pool. We are going to the pool. <laughs> Layla, hmm? you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. She really, she didn't wait for us at all. <laughs> Since we've been here at Idlewild, we have been doing lots of prep because we've mentioned before we're heading back home to Maine and we're leaving the RV, which is super crazy to be thinking about leaving our home, but um, we're gonna be flying from California to Maine and so therefore there's a lot of prep to do. We can't take a ton of stuff with us and we're gonna be gone for a month, so we've been separating clothes and getting packed and trying to figure out what we're gonna fit with all of us bringing one carry-on and checking one bag. So we're gonna see how that goes. And um, we also have been very careful on our last shopping trips about what we're buying. Um, we wanna eat as much as possible and have no food left in the RV. So we've been having creative dinners and um, we have things like, you know, fudge and whipped cream left over, but no ice cream, which that may need to be remedied tonight. So we'll see how that goes. 
this. Um, I gotta talk Corey into somehow taking us to get ice cream later this evening. Tomorrow we're actually leaving and heading to our friends, our lively tribe, and uh, they are graciously allowing us to keep the RV and the truck on their property. On the way there, we actually are stopping at Richardson's RV. We have had an issue with our microwave. It has been broken. We contacted the company. They gave us a possibility. We bought the part. It didn't work. So this will be our first time trying out our forever warranty that came with the rig when we bought it. So we're excited to see how that works. And um, we're just going to have them diagnose the issue tomorrow. And then when we get back from Maine, uh, hopefully everything has been done. Parts have been ordered and we will have a microwave again. We'll see. For right now, we are gonna enjoy the sun and hang out in the pool, which is one of the best parts of us being able to hang out for a few days at a thousand trails. I thought I was gonna win already. We all think we're gonna win. Yeah, well, I gotta trick up my sleeve this time. All right, we just enjoyed the pool. Um, this is just another reason why we like the off season. There's just, mm -hmm. there's just no be around. It's quiet. People. We love people. It's just we don't like being in crowds of yeah. people when we're trying to like rest. We haven't actually gone into Idlewild yet, um, just because we have been trying to get as much work done as we can. Um, so it's as least stressful. Mm -hmm. taking off in a couple days and heading to Maine as yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. We have an excuse to go into town right now, and that excuse is... To get ice cream. We're going to get some ice cream. <laughs> and Idlewild better have some ice cream. I think they're, they're going to have sure some ice do. cream. As I'm long sure as it's do. not closed yet. <laughs> yeah, we got to go. Regular old chocolate? I think so. I think that's what we're going with. We're gonna do anything crazy like double fudge brownie. I like double fudge brownie. Yeah, I'm not getting sour brownie. You said crazy and you didn't say yeah, sour Yeah, no, we're not doing sour brownie. Alright, what I do we want? I think Kit Kat's good too. I'm yeah, making the decision. Let's go. Chocolate, chocolate it is. Chocolate it is. Let's go. Look at that. Sunsets at Idlewild do not disappoint. Sight check. We good? So we just left uh, Idlewild, Thousand Trails, and I think we've dropped about 4,000 feet in the last 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's gained, <laughs> what, 20, 20 degrees? 20 degrees. Like, it was in the low 70s and it is 91 degrees right now. It's supposed to be 104 where we're going to. I think we're gonna miss that mountain air. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Then we're gonna go meet up with Travis and Aaron with our lively tribe. It has been almost a year since we've seen them and they've added a new little member to the tribe, so we're super excited to see their their newest addition and uh, just go hang out for a couple days before we head to the airport and go to Maine. This mountain pass is 
pretty crazy. Yeah, the engine brake has been on basically the last <laughs> half hour. Yeah. Thank God for the engine brake. We have arrived at Aaron's parents' house because Corey is going to wash the truck and the rig really quick because we need to wax it and seal it and take care of everything that needs to be done while it sits out in the sun for the month that we're gonna be gone in Maine. And Aaron and Travis are almost here with their kids and we are so excited to meet Little River. If you aren't following them already, make sure you go to Our Lively Tribe and give them a follow. Um, but her mother has built a little free sharing library in their neighborhood on their front lawn. Look at this. Is that not the cutest? It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Isn't that awesome? Little free library neighborhood. That was awesome. I just love this. Take a book, leave a book. What an awesome idea. Let's get after it. Let's do it. This thing is disgusting. <laughs> Start out with, I just use a, like a one to 10 mixture of a degreaser and I use Meguiar's all purpose cleaner as my degreaser, just cause it's more gentle and it just starts to break down like bugs and, and road tar and all the other stuff. So let some chemicals do some work before you start scrubbing on your paint and just make a mess. And by make a mess, I mean make scratches. You have to get as much grit off before you start rubbing on the paint. Built-in scaffolding. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Yeah, no joke, right? You guys are getting so big. Oh my god. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. 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 Get me out of this heat. Let me hold you. Me oh, how cool you, Mr. Corey. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my uh -huh. goodness. So white. What do you think? Oh no. Oh, oh goodness. Oh. Started to crack. Is he Hi. He was Where's for a second. Going? What's that? Did you find his glasses? Oh, he loves oh. to take glasses. Oh. I see Mama. Oh, oh. 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 oh River. Daddy makes it all bad. Okay, so this stuff, a lot of different companies make it, but this one you can buy local. It's just a ceramic wax. It's so easy. You wash, you spray on, and you spray off. And it's a six month protective. And how else are you gonna wax some sort of textured issues up here? So, it's pretty fun. So are you going to use the same wax on the side now? Yeah. Okay. Because we just did it on the roof and it was so easy. Whether it's good as it's claimed, even if it's half as good as it claims, it's like... It's three months. So easy. <laughs> spray it on, spray it off. I like it. Now it's all waxed. Look at the water's even beating off there. It's so pretty. Just spraying That's it on. That's working, huh? Yeah. It's nice. One more side. All right. Call this blue magic. And I wish there was smell of vision because this stuff smells like candy. It does. It really does spray on blue, huh? Yeah, I'm glad it does too. Yeah, because then you can see it. People have asked about your brush before. You want to tell them what it is? It's a boar's hair brush made by Montana. I'll put the link somewhere. Because <laughs> it's like the biggest time saver ever.
River, do you approve? Is that a good parking spot? Huh? <laughs> filmed earlier that there was a lot of black smoke and we're going right now to check out the fire. Oh my gosh, that mountain is on fire. I've never seen that before. Ever. Oh my gosh. So there wasn't a lot of smoke after a while and Aaron and Travis thought the fire was out and Aaron just left to go run an errand at her mom's house and called Travis saying that the fire was crazy. So we're gonna go film and take some photos. We just got an emergency alert on our phones for an evacuation for the residents of this neighborhood that we're in right now. Oh my gosh. You hear about fires in California all the time and evacuations and stuff, but it is really crazy to be experiencing this right now. Like it's really scary. And this I can is imagine. Probably like a little one comparatively yeah. to some of the other ones. But we just drove by here. What? Uh, four hours. Four ago. hours ago. And there was no fire. Crazy. And now half of the mountain's been burned. And whole neighborhoods are being evacuated. It's, it's just crazy. Wild the the lines that they make. Just the fire line. Mm. Tra I've never seen anything like this. Welcome to California. Yeah, no kidding. When is it like considered the end oh. of fire season? Never in California. Never. It's, it's just anymore. all the time. It used to. Really? It used to be like March to October. Yep. Um, but now it's considered year round. Wow. Yep. side of the mountain. Oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. sort of ranch. They're trying to get their horses out of here. I can hear them. Those little flickering lights underneath the fire are all the firefighters up there. You can hear their chainsaws. Those dudes hiked up that super steep mountain and they are cutting down trees, digging in the dirt. On That is so steep. That is crazy steep. And they're hauling up there. So they're building a fire line? Yes. To yeah. stop it? And they're evacuating all of these houses right now. All yeah. of these horses are getting evacuated. And here, this whole ranch is evacuating everything. They're loading up all their horses and their horse trailers. Can you see the silhouette of those people? Those dudes up there? On the ridge? They are heroes. Louis, you're so right. Last night was so surreal. Corey and I have never ever seen anything like that in our lives. And to hear the stories from Travis and Aaron and their families of how these fires have been started and how a lot of them are started on purpose and how it's affected people that they've known, people have lost like all of their belongings. It was just really, really crazy. And there was something super emotional about listening to the voices of the firemen and the chainsaws and seeing the fire come closer and closer to the lights. I was in tears at a couple points in the night. It was just really crazy. And my respect for firefighters and first responders in those situations just skyrocketed last night. Uh, we have been working all day long today and have not filmed much. The RV is completely upside down because we are trying to pack and get everything in uh, just a couple bags to take with us. Oh, are you joining me? Oh my gosh. I know. And Travis I came out here. 
He's texting me. He's like, get outside. Yeah, I know. Stop working. Look at this. Look at this. Goodness gracious. I'd much rather see the sky lit on fire like this than we did last night. This yeah, is amazing. Yeah, it looks like it's out now. I don't see Yeah, smoke. I think the smoke is gone. It was over here that all the fires were going last night. On top of packing, Corey has been editing and trying to get a video uploaded today and I am cleaning out every cabinet and our refrigerator. We don't want any food, any crumbs, any particle of sugar or anything that could attract insects or little creatures who might want to make a home in our RV while we're gone. Uh, we're trying to clean it all out, uh, which takes a little bit of work, but we have one more day tomorrow and we leave uh, to fly out to Maine first thing Tuesday morning. I cannot express to you how excited we are. I'm not sure if we've mentioned it, but we have a new nephew who is eight weeks old that we have never met before and we are super excited to finally meet him. There's just some like crazy things that you don't realize that you're gonna miss about being home so we're super excited about our local grocery stores and being able to check out Hannaford again and um, places like our favorite donut shop of course so we will be hitting up Tony's Donut we're really excited to be taking Nathan and Marissa with us because they're gonna be in Maine while we're home <laughs> Kona's posing in front of the rig look how deep like those reds and pink Good morning. We are wrapping up the last bits of RV prep. <laughs> Those are sheets and comforters, and I want everything completely yeah, so washed to, and clean. To come back to a clean RV. And, it sure is. Because it's already going to be stressful enough, I'm sure, by the time we get back here. Well, it's That's just that you're tired. Like You've traveled. You've traveled and... Yeah. You just want to come back and be able to like rest in your house. So. Yes. Yeah. And I'm torn. I got more stuff to do, but I. Travis is over there renovating a sweet RV. One more smoke before we go home. I don't know what I'm gonna do without my smoker in Maine. This is gonna be weird being without our home that we just drag all over the place. Yeah. So we're gonna share some little roast and I don't know, some other stuff. What, baked potatoes? Yep. Anyways. Maybe some salad. I'm rambling because I'm gonna be sad. Yeah. Between the smoker and the truck, I'm not actually sure what you're gonna do with yourself. All right, it's like two in the morning and we have to get up at six. Um, five. Five? Oh. It's this is just par for the course <laughs> for the Nickersons. <laughs> we got done with a lot. We're at like 90%. Know, best intentions and all. <laughs> um, but all like the, the, the important stuff though. <laughs> That's right, and we have every crumb cleared out. <laughs> we got um, some pest repellents to, to put around the rig. I siphoned in a little bit of bleach, so ran it through the line, so as it sits, it's just gonna clean. clean. It's strange, um, packing stuff up. <laughs> it we're really used to, is odd. We're used to having it all with us, right. so right. It's, been, uh, it's been interesting. We all cleared out all of our cabinets, yep. you know, wiped them all down so there's no food left over, any and of our dry good foods. We've got in a Tupperware container. This is my favorite part. Got I this defrosted. my refrigerator cleaned and yeah. emptied every once in a while. It's gonna be so nice to go grocery shopping and throw all Come. the food in there. Start fresh, we gotta start fresh. So thankful to Travis and Aaron. Oh, uh, without Wild them, Tribe. like this would have been a very hard process. They have made it so simple for us, and we're super thankful. Yes. So, good night. Good night. We'll see you soon. So keep your eyes on the road and your head in the stars. Follow it down the rabbit hole just a little while longer. You can change anything if you want to. We are here. And we will see you in the morning. Good night. After at least 12 hours of sleep. Yeah, we need some sleep. <laughs> and Tony's Donuts. Tony's Donuts. Yeah. Kind of a big deal. Good night. Good night. So, my Lily and my Layla.